So my, my involvement in uh, education and student training is, has several fold. <clears throat> uh, mainly is the graduate students. So, uh, you know, the, in fact, my lab is essentially half our graduate students, half our postdoctoral fellows. So graduate student training include lectures, you know, I, t I teach in the graduate student courses, as well as training them to do research in the laboratory. And the postdoctoral fellows is mainly in the laboratory do, uh, research. You know, uh, if, well, sometimes I help them, sometimes, in fact, they help me. That is true. In fact, uh, it is the people in the lab who mainly, you know, move in the research projects. I always tell them, I only have one brain. I cannot think about, you know, 10 different projects. You know, the best I can do is, in fact, you know, you have a, go there, read the literature, come up with an idea. Maybe the best thing I can do is, no, you see, I think it's a bad idea, you know, based on my experience. But uh, what I'm saying is, you know, that the education is both way. I, you know, I hope I provided some, uh, you know, good environment for the students, but they also make the environment better. Now, in terms of the undergraduate student, I do not have a direct involvement in lectures, but I do have undergraduate students doing research in my lab. In fact, every year, always there, uh, you know, currently they have two undergraduate students doing research in my lab. And one of the undergraduate students that is, you know, doing really great, very well, and I expect that he will be in a course on one paper we plan to submit uh, next month. Besides that, uh, when, uh, sometimes I, I go to my kids' school to give, uh, you know, tell them some pep talk about the science, you know, medical science, stuff like that. And that's, I, I, I really enjoy that. It's a lot of fun.